Yo, what's going on guys? Greg Tutor here. And we're back with another reaction video. We're checking out the uh Stephen A addresses whether Daniel Jones new Giants contract was deserved. I don't know. I just know I I pulled it up. It was right here. Giants signing Daniel Jones to a four year extension. That's a long time for his mostly below average but one above average year and that's a lot of money for his mostly below average but one above average year and I saw I looked down here as well so it said basically a three year deal 112 million the fourth year is the fourth year and remaining 47 million are not guaranteed so like if he's doing ass, they just cut him after year three, before the, his the new deadline or whatever the deadline is at some point, so they don't have to pay the forty seven. <coughs> Either way, do I think it's deserved? No, that's a lot of damn money. That's kind of wild. It's a lot. That's a lot of money, bro. For someone who had a decent year this year, but still barely had, what, 15 touchdown throws or something like that? That's that's not 15 touchdown throw money right there. That's starting quarterback money and franchise money. And is this this the guy you want for your franchise? I don't know. I don't hate Daniel Jones. I think he's good on the ground and all that stuff, but still, it's a little crazy. You don't want anybody here. We understand that about you. I mean, it has to be it has to be Vince Lombardi himself or Michael Jordan or Larry Bird. Outside of that, you don't want anybody here. We understand. We get all of that. Um, by the way, I wasn't sure that it was forty million guaranteed for Geno Smith. I knew it was three years. $105 million. I wasn't sure that that guaranteed number was at 40 so I'll give you that point because certainly I think he deserves more guaranteed dollars than Daniel Jones. Having said that, I'm going to roll with RC on this. I think RC makes valid points because, uh, valid points rather, because here's the deal. <coughs> I'm not that high on Daniel Jones. I'm not either. But I am high on Brian Dave. Coach I G. agree with that. I am yep. high on the job that he's done. I'm yeah. high on his expertise. I'm high on the fact that his first year as the court as the head coach of the Giants, Daniel Jones. I like uh, Brian North Dable or whatever. And he threw the least amount of interceptions in his four-year career. Okay, and I'm paying Because I know, I'm pretty sure he was up at. Pretty sure Brian Dable. I'm, I think he was up at Buffalo, and he was like the glue that held Josh Allen back and kept his turnovers and his bad play back I mean, he went I'm just saying look at uh the inconsistency from Josh Allen last year to like the, the year before to this past year it was there and Brian Dable came in turned Daniel Jones around so it, obviously a coach has something to do with it but It makes you feel like, okay, this was the ceiling. And if this is the, if 15 touchdowns is the ceiling, what are we going to do for the rest of the franchise, right? Saquon Barkley's already holding enough weight on his shoulders. That's all I'm saying. He jumped all in his face on the yep. sidelines when he threw an interception, okay? And he's held the kid accountable, yep. and he's nurtured him and watched him grow. And so I don't think this is about Daniel Jones as much as it is a belief. In Brian Dable's decision making. Then you got to take into account what quarterbacks were out there. Okay, you had Derek Carr, you could have went and got him. It was going to cost you considerably more than the $82 million. And I would challenge you on this, doggy. Colin Murray is at 189 and a half guaranteed. Russell Wilson is at 165 million guaranteed. You're trying to tell me that Daniel Jones isn't worth a hundred million less in guaranteed dollars? 
than a guy like Kyler Murray. I'm saying that when you look at it from that perspective, I think you got to look at the market that we're talking about. Thanks for watching. Okay. ESPN on I hear you on that. I hear you, but still. Because if you look strictly at guaranteed, right? Then yeah, he's got less guaranteed than a majority of guys out there. But he's played. His play makes it to where he has less guaranteed money than other guys out there. Like, that's just how it is. You should get your play up before you get your pay up. That's, that's how it works. Either way. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, want to see more similar content, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will check you guys next time. Goodbye.